This video is part of our series about making dioramas and railroad modeling scenery. You can see all the videos in that series in our channel, The World of Rail. If you're not yet subscribed, subscribe and you get easy access to that channel. So please subscribe now. Note, I always keep four or five dioramas on the workbench. That way I can plan, I can change, and I never get bored. And now let's get on with the subject of this video. This rolling mill project rolls along slowly but surely. This week I uh, covered these steel rolls or I, I washed them with some black wash. I used a, uh, a, a, a uh, oil-based paint uh, with, uh, with uh, thinned with turpentine, put the black wash on. When these were made out of aluminum foil and beer can, they were kind of silver. Uh, so my critics told me it were too silver. Actually, if you look at stuff in the factories nowadays, you see it comes in silver. But for the purposes of the model, they felt it should be washed down a little bit, look like it developed a little bit of rust. I have, uh, so I did that, and then, get this to focus, get it in place, I have the silver chain, it's spray painted black, uh, I have to start cutting that chain and putting the chain in place over the over the uh, steel rolls. After that it's a matter of adding figures and I'm going to embark on a crazy project. These are the traditional couplers that you find on HO scale cars. They, they don't look too real at all but uh, I, I found some good plans for the screw type couplers that are used uh, in in Europe. Uh, since these cars will not roll, this is going to be stationary model, I'm going to try making these screw type couplers and put them on there. That will be a job and a half, but I, I, I always do the insane. So that's where I'm going that one. I'm having a lot of fun with this thing. And I'm down to the real, real short strokes on this. And like everything else, I just take my time with it. If I don't like it, I throw it out and start again. But this one, this is just a matter of all these finishing details, weathering, lights, everything. So that's it for, on this one for now. The small station project is moving forward nicely. What I've done is I've mocked up uh, the layout, there'll be two sets of track, platform, uh, the station itself, the water closets, and over here there'll be a gatehouse, and I'm going to put a grocery store here, and over here will be a public landing. So I mocked this up and after I put the models in place it looks different than I had planned. So what I have to do is I have to extend it. I want to make more depth here so I can move the water closet back and I want more room over here. I want to move everything to the left so I've got room to put the grocery store in over there and the public landing. I'll put this with greenery with trees or trees around it and and then I'll add a little bit you know on either end. Now I'll show you the buildings I'm making but I also took time and I get this in here and hopefully we can get it to focus. What I've done is I cut a uh, window glass. The window glass is actually thin acrylic it's uh, one millimeter uh, acrylic. It's very easy to cut and it's, it's a you know, semi-opaque acrylic so it's not like glass you put in there. It's very easy to add the uh, details, uh, mullions and etc. on there. 
I'll, uh, that is fun. I'll show you how to make that in another video. I'll show you how to make this in another video with the plans and the grocery store. So happy with this. Now what I've got to do is start making platforms, etc. Now I've been making buildings. Uh, this goes in the coal yard. This 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 is wood strips on card. This will be the coal yard office. I've made uh, plexiglass windows to fit in here. I have to make the door and then I'll make the uh, framing for the windows and doors. This is the brick guardhouse goes in the small station project. This is I, I, I hand scribed the brick into some card and painted it. Kind of happy with this project. I'll, I'll show you in real close-ups when I when I uh, assemble it, but I'm, I'm, I've got to put in the windows. The windows are cut and, and put in the, the frame there. Then this will be a grocery store. We'll go in the back of the small station project. That's how this, this started with some a printout on card and then I take little pieces of laminated wood that I that I cut and I'll show this process in another video. That information is down below. Um, you can click over and you can see how I make each of these and uh, spend my time. This takes quite a bit of time. Some of this, this is the first time I've ever done that. That's fantastic. First time I use this wood, I love it. It's a thin laminate and it's, it's got a natural color to it. It's, it's birch and it, it really looks good. So this, this is the focus for the week to finish these buildings. This diorama is ready for uh, final scenery uh, detailing. I put curbs in all along the track here. Just focus better. So there's curbing all the way down. I got the platform in over here and this is now has to be had the greenery added and the road over here is in place. Get it to focus on camera. I've got curbing on the road. I'll fill this and then I have to get on with the level crossing. This project's moving very well. Very happy with it. Uh, I'm going to put the... I keep saying I'll put the lights in this week. I'll, I'll try get it, getting it lit up. Now then I'll have to add lighting here. Uh, it's one of my favorite projects. It will, hopefully I can finish it in a week or two. Okay, that's it for now. Now I want to hear from you. Tell me what you think of this video. If you can add something, do that too. Some of your ideas may be better than mine, so don't hesitate. Use the comments box below so everyone can see what you have to say. And please do subscribe. While you're subscribing, ring the bell so that you're notified by YouTube when we post a new video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.